Hey everyone, hey everyone. So, HubSpot so HubSpot just released, just released a, new a new feature that's going to solve a really, really big pain, pain point for a lot of people. people. If, you if you invoice customers through other platforms platform and tools, such as Xero, such, such as QuickBooks, such as Stripe, Stripe then, then you might want to see exactly the, the, what the status, status was of that invoice, invoice, some other details, details around it, and you have, you to, have go to go into another system, system in order to see that information. Well, well, that is that no is longer the case. case. HubSpot, HubSpot has now released its invoices object. object here. If I go to contacts and click on that drop down, you'll see that we now have invoices available. And so I'm in a demo account, so obviously I don't have any invoices in there right now, but you can see that it says you can connect to QuickBooks Online, but you can connect to other tools as well. And I'm gonna walk you through what that looks like. It's really straightforward, really simple, and gives you some great context in terms of deals that you closed, where payments are at, stuff like that. I'm gonna go over to the integrations tab here to show you exactly how it's done. Now I'm gonna scroll down and go to zero because that's what we use for our company. I'm gonna click on go to settings. And you can see that I already have different objects synced between zero and HubSpot. And so if you were to set this up initially, basically what you would do is you click, click on sync more data and you can choose which objects you want to sync over. For me, I'm not going to go through this initial configuration process because it's going to throw me an error. So instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to edit my sync settings, and it's the exact same configuration window, but we won't get the error, so that's more useful. Now, you can see you can choose your sync direction for zero. It only syncs data to HubSpot from zero. There's not a data sync between apps available yet. There's also not a different direction there for HubSpot to zero. So right now for zero and HubSpot, it's only one way, but then you can go down here and you can map each of these different properties between the two platforms. You can even add mappings here. So you can see we have additional properties that are available in zero. And if you wanted to map that to a property for invoices in HubSpot, you would go over and map it here, or you can create a new HubSpot property to track that. So then once you're done with that, what you would do is you would click on next, and then you have this limit window in which you can edit by specific properties. So this is useful if you don't wanna sync all invoices in between the two platforms. Let's say you handle multiple different types of business and you don't want that synced back to your HubSpot portal because it only handles a very specific portion of those invoices then you would filter here so that you don't sync everything between the two platforms. I'm going to click on next here. And so you can see on this organized window that you have this automatic associations feature that HubSpot basically tries to sync between the two platforms best it can by using identifying characteristics, maybe such as like a contact email or something like that. Automatic deletions is not available for this integration. So we'll just skip that. And then you review it and save and sync, and that's pretty much it. Now you'll see invoices in between the two platforms. Now I'm gonna exit here, and then I'm gonna go back to connected apps. I'm gonna go down to the Stripe section here because I don't believe we have that set up. <clears throat> so I'm gonna click on set up invoice sync, and that's gonna open up a new window for me. And then you can see that it has a similar window pop up as we saw with zero contact invoice and product sync. I'm going to click on invoice sync here, click on next. And then when we click the drop down here, you can see it's the same thing for Stripe. This might be different from QuickBooks. We don't have the QuickBooks integration and we don't use QuickBooks, but then you can see the mappings here are already set up by HubSpot. If we wanted to, we can add in additional properties to sync something like amount paid would be really useful so that you can identify exactly how much of that invoice has been paid if you if you can split up payments or something like that so we would just confirm those mappings click on next for us we we would sync all invoices from stripe click next again we still have the automatic associations on we would click review and that's pretty much it save and sync and now HubSpot would sync between the two platforms. So that's pretty much the new feature. Really useful because now we're going to be able to see exactly the progress of an invoice inside of HubSpot without having to go to another platform or ask someone else 
for that information. So once again, HubSpot is building new features to increase the amount of context that you get around your day-to-day -day work. Hopefully this is a useful new walkthrough video for you. Let me know if you have any questions or want any other videos to be made.